Larry Page, my new boss, and I were asked by the National Academy of Engineering a few years ago to study all the emerging energy technologies and come up with a plan for the United States. And uh, we selected solar as being the most promising emerging technology because we're applying advanced technologies, <laughs> nanotechnology, to bring down the cost of solar. So the cost of solar panels uh, is coming down very quickly. As a result, the total amount of solar energy in the world is on a rise. It's on an exponential rise. It's doubling every two years, and it's been doing that for 30 years. So right now, it's a little over 1%. So people say, oh, 1%, it's a fringe player, nice thing to do, but 1% is not really going to solve the problem, ignoring the fact that 1% is only seven doublings from 100%. And people dismissed the Genome Project when it was 1%, <coughs> ignoring the fact that it was growing exponentially. Uh, within 15 years, we could meet all of our energy needs with solar. Solar is actually cost comparative uh, with other forms of energy, like fossil fuels, without any subsidies in different regions of the world. And that's, and that's as the costs come down some more, uh, it'll actually be less expensive. Uh, and so I presented this actually to the Prime Minister of Israel recently, and he said, but Ray, do we have enough sunlight to do this with? And I uh -huh. said, yes, we have 10,000 <laughs> 10, times more than we need. And after we double seven more times, and are meeting all of our energy yep. needs through solar, we'll be using one part in 10,000 of the sunlight. And it's free. Ultimately, can, this can be very inexpensive. It has no environmental impact. There are similar issues actually in cleaning up water, uh, similar solutions that are emerging uh, similar solutions emerging for food production, housing. It's a complex subject, but you know, if we restrict ourselves to 19th century technologies like fossil fuels, then I would be pessimistic also. If we embrace these new strategies and new technologies, which are environmentally friendly, they're decentralized, they're not subject to <coughs> disasters like uh, oil spills, uh, then I would be very optimistic. We have actually the, the means and the knowledge uh, to meet our you know, biological and material needs in an environmentally friendly way. We just have to make the decision to do that.